Okay, so today we're going to introduce you to welding. Um, I'm going to go over some of the basic background to welding, welding so you know a little bit about it. Um, welding is a coalescence or joining together of metals with or without a filler metal using heat and or pressure. Um, it's used on farm equipment, um, mining and refinery, refinery equipment, and jig and fixtures. It's also construction of boilers, furnaces, and railway cars. Um, modern welding process is involved from discoveries and inventions back to the year 2000 BC uh, when forge welding was first used as joining two pieces of metal. Um, acetylene gas was discovered in 1836 when combined with oxygen, acetylene produced a flame suitable for welding and cutting. Then oxyacetylene welding was developed. Uh, the welding process for a particular job is determined by the type of metal to be joined, cost involved, uh, nature of the products to be fabricated, production techniques used, the job location, material appearance, equipment available, and your welding experience. Uh, welding process today is known as oxy fuel wel welding, arc welding, and resistance welding. Oxy acetylene welding is the most commonly used oxy fuel process. All right, I got you different types of welds. We're gonna start out with the arc weld, which is what that gentleman is demonstrating right there on the screen. That an arc weld is joined together by an electric arc. The next one we're gonna talk about is oxyacetylene welding. And that one is oxygen fuel welding process that uses acetylene as gas fuel. Next one is a MIG weld or a gas metal arc welding which is the process in which an electric arc forms between a combustible wire electrode and your workpiece. The last one we're going to talk about is the TIG weld, or tungsten arc welding. And it is the process where a combustible tungsten electrode uh, delivers the current to the workpiece. Other thing I'm going to hit on is your different types of joints. As you can see, those are just a few of the different types of joints we can have. We have a butt joint, corner joint, T-joint, lat joint, and the last one is an edge joint. The two that you guys are going to be working on today that you can see up there is A, the butt joint, and C, the T joint. Alrighty. So, okay. so as you can see on the left hand side, if you do a lot, that is a lot for welding because you don't want to have too much, and then not enough. So on the far right hand is so if you just take it and it would just obviously just like break apart. So not less is more, but just like perfect amount. So it does take a while to try to get your actual, get the expertise going. So what you have in front of you is you have graham crackers. So you have about four. So those you'll have, um, break one in half, and that'll be for your first weld. Thank you. 
wanted to play of using too much metal, not doing enough. Yeah. <laughs> 